I'm 39. If I could go back on time and talk to my 20-year-old self, these are the 39 simple yet powerful life lessons that I would tell myself. Don't stress so much about the future. I know that you feel like you need to f have everything figured out right now, but you don't. You got time. Focus on learning, exploring, and trying new things. Quit trying to keep, keep up with anybody else. What everyone else is doing, it doesn't matter. Be true to yourself, understand yourself, and live an authentic life. Even if you have big dreams like I used to have and you want to open your small business, I would say study something that you like and then bring you joy. For me, I wish I would have studied or graphic design, the Bachelor of Interior Design, or even marketing. Because then if, you know, life changes and things don't go as you planned, you have something to fall off on and it's something that you actually like. Quit, drugs, parties, alcohol, whatever the crazy life, early. I quit when I was before 30, but if I could go back to my younger, younger self, I would say quit a little bit earlier. You don't need that stuff. It doesn't bring you any happiness. You're just spending a lot of money to burn your <laughs> brain cells. Save your money, don't splurge it. I know you are young, you're in your 20s. <laughs> you think that you have all this time to make money. Yeah, you do in one way, but on the other hand, if you start saving early, that will be really the best path. Invest. If you can invest some part of your money, just do it. Invest carefully, don't invest in, I don't know, crypto because, you know, the coolest YouTuber told you. <laughs> Just do your research, but also invest in learning. Buy books, courses, go to uni if you can. That's so valuable. Avoid debt. Seriously, guys, unless, I don't know, you have to pay for a house and get, you know, a loan or mortgage. Yeah, that, that's cool. You have to do it. But for the rest, avoid debt. And I'm telling you this because with my ex in Italy, we got a 10, 10 year loan. And oh my God, that was probably the biggest mistake I ever made. And you will say, okay, I need to buy a car. If you want, I have a video where I show you how I buy cars for like a 10th of the price so you can pay cash and you don't need to get a loan. Watch this video next after this one. Create a simple budget and stick to it. Financial habits start young. Set up yourself now and you will have freedom later. Get a hobby that you truly enjoy, whether it's candle making, soap making, painting, cooking, whatever it is, do something that really brings you joy and you're not on your phone 24-7 or on social media 24-7. <laughs> Start a YouTube channel. Oh my God, yes. I don't know, 20 years ago, did it exist YouTube? It's not 39, so a little bit less. Anyways, seriously, guys, if you're in your 20s, 30, 50, 60, it doesn't matter, any age, start a YouTube channel because, it, yes, it's hard work, it is. It takes time. It's the opposite of a get get rich quick scheme, if I can say, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the opposite of that. But man, you don't know where you'll be in five years time, in 10 years time. I don't know. It's been two years now. I will tell you. Let's come back in three years time. Well, I hope you come back earlier than that, but <laughs> we'll see how or where I'll be in three years. Put relationships over status or even popularity. You'll find that people that truly care about you, whether it's your family, your friends, are way, way, way more important than being popular with strangers. Stay curious and keep learning. Every day is a chance to learn something new, even from the little, little things. Never stop growing. Don't let fear stop you from trying something new. Yes, we all have fear, and that's what I'm telling my three-year-old son. It's okay to be scared because it, it, it's a good thing. However, you still can do it. You can push on. I don't know. Push the fear away and do the things that you are scared of. Because it might be the best thing you ever done. Choose your friendships carefully. Surround yourself with people that encourage you, challenge you, 
when you need it <laughs> and help you grow. You don't need yes men or women. You don't need, like friendship to me is not someone who always agree with me. It's, it's some, like a friend, a real friend. It's someone that can be her or his self. He can or she can tell me the truth, even if we don't agree. And I do appreciate this type of people because they tell me if I'm wrong, if they think I'm wrong, and I tell them. And we talk in a positive, constructive manner and they help me grow and I help them grow. And it's amazing. <laughs> Stop freaking comparing yourself to others. Okay, when I was 20, we didn't have social media, but now we have it. So I'm talking to you, <laughs> my friend. I know it's hard, but please, please, please don't compare yourself on social media, Instagram, TikTok, or even in real life. It's useless. Your journey, whatever, you know, how you look, what, I don't know, your voice, even, you know, the journey that will take you to, to get where you want to be is unique to you. Who cares what other people look like? Who cares if other people are more popular and successful? It doesn't mean you can't get there, but if you focus on other people and compare yourself and how bad you feel, it's not going to take you anywhere. Travel as much as you can. Seriously, I know not everybody loves to travel. I love it. And I didn't in my 20s. I almost didn't do it. I start, ah, well, started at 26. It's a little bit late. <laughs> if you have the opportunity, go see the world. The world is big. Seriously, it's not just where you're born, your, you know, hometown or your city. There's so much to see out there. And in my opinion, sorry, it's a tough love <laughs> from your who I am, your auntie, your mama, whatever. Not having money is not an excuse because guess what? My sister, uh, I don't know, five years ago, even longer, she had a great career in Prague. She was a manager. She left everything and she went backpacking for three months, I think, in South America. And she always says it was one of the best experiences ever. And she found work there. So you can do it even if you don't have the money to, you know, stay in luxury hotel. That's okay. You can find ways and you can even look for jobs there. But it will open so much your mind that when you are older, when you are in your 40s and maybe you have a family, you will think back and you'll be like, oh, wow, I did some crazy shit in <laughs> my 20s. <laughs> and you will love it. Get comfortable being alone. Seriously, that's a huge lesson for me. I don't think, if, I don't know if in my 20s I was comfortable. But as I said, around 26 years old, I started traveling a lot and then I moved here and uh, I went on holiday with uh, some girls that I knew not really friends but yeah and when I we went to Thailand and when we were there I swear I regretted going with them because I was so used to being by myself nobody would tell me you know what time I have to wake up and today we go here tomorrow we go there no and I was and I loved it because I moved to from Italy to Australia on my own. So I was so comfortable comfortable being by myself. And I think it's an awesome thing because guess what? You are the only one who's going to stay with you till the end. The other people you don't know. Listen to your intuition, gut feeling, how you want to call it. Seriously, guys. Me, I always said, when I was even in my 20s, but I think even before, I had this gut feeling. I was living in Florence in Italy. I had this gut feeling. I actually thought I was going to move to the US because I really wanted first to learn English and then to live in an English-speaking country. I knew that. But guess what? I was with my ex for seven years, so I didn't do anything. I started when we broke up, you know, traveled the world and then moved to Australia. But I had this gut feeling inside and I knew I knew, I, I didn't know Australia, but I knew I was going to move into an English-speaking country. So really don't underestimate your gut feeling. Don't chase happiness, build contentment. Real joy isn't about the heights. So the crazy, which I did, skydiving and bungee jumping or even, you know, the crazy parties or whatever it is, it's not that. It can be fun though, <laughs> of course. <laughs> To me, real happiness is about being at peace with myself every day, being content with where I am, my journey, I appreciate every, it's cliche, but every single moment or every, 
step that I take, every moment that I have with my, with my loved ones. Because don't take it for granted. You're 20, you are young, but the people that you love are not going to be with you forever. And that's the truth. Learn to cook healthy meals. If you're like me, you hate cooking. I never, ever, ever liked cooking. But now in my almost 40s, <laughs> I realize how important it is. And you don't need like, you know, chef. Who is it? Gordon Rams, Rams, Ramsay, <laughs> chef. You know, the level recipes. You don't need that. But some, even if you can, you know, five, ten easy recipes that you like, they are on the healthier side. And it will be an amazing and valuable skill that you learned going on. So you can save a lot of money by not eating out, by not taking taking takeaways. <laughs> so I, I really think it's a, it's a skill that will be very uh, helpful to you. Choose experiences over possessions. Yeah, it's good to have the whatever it is, I don't know, fancy bag, designer clothing, whatever, to me. And this, I think I was, I never care about designer stuff, not even my 20s. But yeah, I feel like the experiences, like the, the memories that the experiences give you, like there's no thing that you bought that can give you that experience. No, they can give you their memory. Like when you're going to be old and, you know, almost to die, <laughs> you'll be close to your death, you're not going to think, oh, wow, I had a really cool car. <laughs> you know, oh, wow, I, I got this uh, super expensive watch or whatever it is. I don't think you will think about that. Maybe you'll think, ah, I traveled the world with my loved one. So I went skydiving or scuba diving. I don't know, whatever it is. Say no when you need to. I'm a people pleaser. This is, yeah, I get it from my mom. It's always been really hard for me to say no. But I'm learning because I need to protect my energy and my time. Focus on your health mentally and physically. We have one body and one mind. So I would say take care of both of them right now so you can avoid regrets later on. Have a backup plan for every big decision. I was, as I was saying before, if I had studied, for example, graphic design, when I had my baby, not straight away, but I don't know, at six months, one year old, I could have found some work, maybe working from home with, with my graphic design skills. So even if I have the big plan, I want my business, I want this YouTube channel to turn into a business, but in the meantime, I can have a, a little backup plan so to bring some money at home. It's okay to change your mind and path. Nothing is set in stone. You are allowed to change your mind and change your path whenever you think it's right. And you shouldn't feel bad about it. Set clear boundaries. Boundary protect yourself and help you stay in control on your own life. Stay humble and curious. Always be willing to learn from others and stay open-minded because that's what I learned moving, you know, from one side to the world to the other. We are all so different, some traditions. They, well, you know, what is normal in Italy is so not normal <laughs> in Australia. And it's okay. It doesn't mean, you know, the way, because we did something in one way for all of our life, doesn't mean that that's the only way we can do it. Put yourself first sometimes. And this is what I learned with motherhood. Yeah, I always say when you have a newborn, you have to put the newborn first. So I'm not saying be a selfish witch. <laughs> Absolutely not. But you need self-care and you need to take care of your health. Absolutely. And even if you don't have a, a child, sometimes is self-care isn't selfish. So sometimes it's good to take care of ourselves and our needs first. Otherwise, you you risk to burn out. Per, uh, otherwise, you risk to burn out. Seek out mentors and role models. Learn from those who have walked the path that you are interested in. Their insights are invaluable. However, I don't know if that's another point, but I put in the same point. Don't fall for scams, because now with social media, you know, everybody can say I made a trillion dollar in one week, and maybe that's what you want. They aren't honest, and they're just making money by scamming you with all these courses, teaching you something that you could have found 
online for free. Look up for mentors, but yeah, do a research and always, always keep your critical thinking. Learn to let go of things that you can't control. Worry, no. Worrying won't change anything. Focus on the things that you can control. For example, your reaction. Don't settle for less than you deserve. And this can be in relationships, so don't be with someone who treats you badly. This can be with the, with the job, so as an employee. Don't take poo-poo from your boss <laughs> or, you know, co-worker because you have just one life. Apologize when you are wrong. This is so huge for me and that's what I'm teaching my son. For me, manners are so important. So what, saying please, saying thank you and also saying sorry because people are not mind readers. Maybe you did something, you accused something or whatever it could be and you were wrong. I think it's so important to go back to the person and say, no, and show that you are a big person, the bigger, not the bigger person, but I, um, what's the word? A mature person that can say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. It actually shows your true char character. A good one, a really good one. Stay kind, even when it's hard. Kindness is always remembered and I don't think you can regret to be kind to people. <laughs> Spend time with your family. As I already said, they are here for you, with you. They're not going to be with you forever. Unfortunately, that's life. Don't let failures hold you back. This is huge. I think when we start putting ourselves out there and we start facing failure, even the first failure, the second failure, we think, oh, wow. We are failure and everybody else, you know, they really look up to, they're not failures. They know what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. But no, you don't see all the failures that they went through to get to the point where they are now. So I believe that we have to reframe our thinking and understand that failure isn't the opposite of success. Failure is part of success. So you have, I don't know how you could do it. Here you have success and here you have all the failures, you know, before success. And that's what it takes to get to success. Go through all the failures. And instead of letting your failures stop you, focus on the lesson that you can learn. Learn how to manage stress early. Find healthy ways to cope and manage your stress. It could be yoga, meditation, punching the, <laughs> how do you call it, the, um, the punch bag or any exercise or even journaling. Find what feels right to you. Find joy in the simple things. You don't need to be happy just when you get to the big, huge achievements. Learn to find peace in the everyday moments and in the journey. Life will always bring challenges. But you have to reframe the way you see it. Are these challenges or that's simply life? Because you might think that you have it harder than anybody else, but you probably don't. You have to understand that you are way stronger than you think. You will get through things that in the moment feels like, no, I could never go through that. You will. I lost my ex. He died for a car accident. I have a video if you want to watch that. I also lost one of my best friends. She passed away at 38 years old for addiction. And that's the video here if you want to watch that. And how many years later, more than 10 years later, I'm fine. I went through all of that and I'm strong. Last but not least, you will be fine. Whatever path you choose, it will take you where you're meant to be. In my case, it brought me here. I moved to the other side of the world, to Australia. I have my happy family. I'm living a simple and happy life. So don't worry too much. You are going to be just fine. And if you want to learn how to live a simple life, just like me, <laughs> watch this video next. And I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Ciao.